Hey, for those of you that don't know, Jack Harbaugh is in demand. He's the father of two sons who coached against each other in the Super Bowl. In fact, Jack hosts a podcast with Jim. Jack has made numerous coaching stops along the way, including one at Michigan. And one of his first stops, and actually it was the first stop, was Perrysburg, Ohio. He moved away in 1964, and he has yet to return, but he recently made that trip back to Wood County. Perrysburg, Ohio, a little different today. The population nearly triple from what it was in the mid 60s. But Jack Harbaugh's world still circles back here at the Commodore building. Coach, I miss you. <laughs> Even running into Rick Densdorf in the parking lot, an old coaching buddy from 25 years ago. This is our old school right here. Yes. This is the high school. Yeah. And I was telling Rick, it's, when you get to this age, you really, the names slip away. Yeah. But some of the, the players that were that were on the team at the time. Yeah. So 60 years ago, but you still have... You can still tell specific things <laughs> yeah. that they did. Jack's walking tour through the renovated Commodore building begins. Is the floor different? This is great, you kept all this. Amazing, coming back in time here. Oh yeah, now I remember this. Other thing I remember, the boxing gloves on the on the, uh, yeah. on the yellow jacket. Yeah. Is, that, is that still there, they still, they still do yeah. that? The Maumee Perrysburg? Rivalry has been 103, 103 games. Yeah. 103 yeah. games. Yeah. 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 Just jumped into my mind. I, I think I was a, a an unqualified science teacher doing an experiment with something. <laughs> it was a fire. <laughs> I mean, there was smoke and there, the, the, on the floor and the, the flames. And I thought, oh my goodness, my first year. <laughs> I burned the school down. I think it was in this building. <laughs> well, Jack may have left that unintentional gift in science class, Perrysburg schools have a few gifts for him to remember his visit. We got you a vest. Oh my goodness. How That's neat is that? Right, so. <laughs> I'm put that on. That is really nice. Got the gloves on him? Oh yeah. I got the boxing gloves. Yeah. Good. Next stop, the third floor. This was my classroom right here. Yeah? This was my classroom, I think. I believe this was my classroom right here back in 1962. Could you believe this was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because there, there was a wall right here, and then that part down there became the library. The fire I caused in the science class would have been about right here, I believe. The wall was here, and the class was out there. What else drew you to Perrysburg? Of course, we were so close to Bowling Green, I wanted to get my master's. Okay. I wanted to get into college coaching, and in those days, you couldn't coach in college unless you had your master's degree. Wow. You could do movies in here, couldn't you? I know you're busy, so I went ahead and bookmarked all the pages that you're on in the yearbooks. That's Jack Fox. That's the guy that passed out in front of my uh, classroom right before the Maumee game. Doc Thomas uh, was just an institution here. Nice to have... Uh... Individual that is a man I do not recognize. <laughs> we met as a team. It wasn't like uh, we had these specialists. I mean, we, we were a group that would come together and share ideas, argue. I mean, we could, uh, we could uh, if somebody walked by the room, they'd think that we just totally hated each other. Now, this one surprised me when oh! I saw this photo. I did not know about this about you. Oh, my goodness. How did you become the golf coach? I needed 500 bucks. <laughs> I figured that was the reason. And they said, does anybody here know anything about golf? I do. And I had never played the game in my life. I didn't know which end of the club to hold, but I could make 500 bucks. Actually, this, this is. This, I wanted to ask you about this. This happened here at Perrysburg. What is your memory of that My day? memory of that is it's one of those days that you just never forget. It was a Friday. About 1 or 1.30 in the afternoon, we got an announcement over the, the PA that the president had been shot in Dallas. And we just, it just went numb. And, and it seemed like a day, but it was just like minutes later, they came back and, and said that the, the president had been assassinated. And we didn't have cell phones in those days. And so they, they released the students to, to go home. Jackie was pregnant with Jim. That was November when the president was assassinated. She was eight months along with Jim. And she came and we met. Uh, she met me here. Cause we, we didn't, she met me when, after school and she was a mess. I mean, she was just totally, totally broken up. And, uh, and I worried about her. And then that night in this auditorium, 
they had a play going on or some kind of a, a school function going on and they decided to have it. Okay. And so my recollection is that we came to it and it was just the most somber, uh, grief stricken evening that you could ever spend with, with, with other people. And uh, I, I, remember, I remember it like it was, like it was just yesterday. Then the weekend that followed with, with Lee Harvey Oswald and uh, then Monday, no school, and they had the, the funeral and, and all of that. I, I, I saw that, bang, and that just jumped back in time with, with that whole event. About one half mile down the road from the old high school is 975 Louisiana Avenue, the Harbaugh's home in Perrysburg. Golly. Hi. Hi, my name is Jack Harbaugh. Hi, I'm Sandra Wagner. Are you a Michigan fan or an Ohio State fan? I'm neither. <laughs> Good for you. This was our first first house we lived together as married. Does that even look alike? It I mean, does. Now, was the garage here when you were here the first time? Um, my dad built it, I think, before we moved out. Before you, before we moved in. Yes. But, but you had, out. but you had the the, the work here. Hi, I'm Jack Harbaugh. How you doing? Love your hat. Look at this. <laughs> I like. Huh, look at this. I like this. <laughs> got a got a clanger on there. Yeah. You can actually oh, ring yeah. it. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to make a deal. You and I are going to make a deal. When when we beat Ohio State, yeah. yeah. I want you to come out here and I want you to clang that thing about about 10, 15 times. Will you do that for me? We'll do. Can I count on you? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. So if you have a good feeling about the Wolverines today, you have to you know keep your ear open a little bit later this afternoon. The stories with Jack are endless. Good news, you can watch and listen to more right now on 13abc.com.